So I've been investigating doing some watercoloring, you know, just kind of chill out, relax, small scale, low cost type of thing. So I put together this starter kit and I just wanted to give everyone a run through uh, before I got going. And then if there's any interest, I'll do some more videos on it. Uh, but basically I just wanted to pick up the absolute basics, not really spend too much money, but put myself in a good position to get started. Uh, so first off, I picked up some paper, a set of paint, some uh, brush pens, as opposed to using just brushes. And then uh, I've had some pens around that would be a good fit. Uh, I just wanted to give everyone a run through this kit and then I'll do some more videos if there is interest. Uh, first off, I have these, uh, it's probably the most important part. This is a water brush. So basically it comes in this cool packaging. This thing sells for about $6 and all it is is a, just a water reservoir, a brush tip and uh, a cap. And basically you could fill it with water. Uh, this piece unscrews and then uh, use it with your paints. It's portable, hence the cap. It's a uh, synthetic material. That's why it's not particularly expensive. And it's a brush as opposed to using like all these other, like a set of brushes. You can get a set of these or just one or two of these, whatever. It's a nice, simple solution, uh, portable, easy to use. Seems like it makes sense versus buying brushes. I bought a second one of these. This one, uh, by the way, is called the, uh, the Kuretake, K-U-R-E-T-A-K-E. -E. And I'll link to everything in the comments below, or in the notes below, rather. Uh, I also got this. This is another brush pen, also medium tip. Uh, this is a, uh, a little bit cheaper one. Uh, trying to figure out the brand. Also Kuretake. Uh, again, just a slightly smaller one. This is a medium tip synthetic. This is a fine tip, also synthetic brush. Some of the other ones are uh, felt tips, which is a little bit more like a marker, but still uses your paint. Uh, but I went with the brush tips. Figured I would buy a few different one of these. They're only about five bucks each. And I would eventually figure out how many I needed and then which ones I preferred. As for the paper, uh, this was an area that was new to me just because uh, I haven't used much watercolor paper yet. Like I've watercolored on paper, but not any sort of specific paper. So first off, I got this one. This is a global art fluid watercolor paper. It's called the Easy Block Cold Press. Uh, this was just a uh, $5 notebook and it's got a really heavy, nicely textured paper. There's not a lot of sheets there, uh, but they are bound down, which is nice. So you can use it to paint with to start and then just move on. And this is about the size I thought would be good for getting started, keep everything very relaxing and very casual. Uh, this is 140 pound paper or 300 grams per square meter. Uh, it's only 15 sheets for five bucks. So it's not that cheap at a, like a per square inch level, but it is pretty cheap overall. Next up, I also got this paper. This is called the uh, Maruman new Soho series sketchbook. Uh, this was like six or seven bucks. And this paper isn't quite as heavy, but it is really still quite heavy. And this is uh, 70 sheets for $7. So uh, pretty affordable. And I figured this one would be worth a shot too. Eventually I would you know, triangulate on what worked for me. As for the paints, this is one area where I wanted to buy something really cool and that I was excited to use. I got this Kuretake set. This is the Gansai Tombai. Uh, not really sure what that means, but it looks like a nice set. It's uh, pretty easy to find, and it's uh, 12 different colors. That, uh, I'll cut it open now. I wanted everything to be in new order for the video. Uh, so 12 colors, and uh, sells for about maybe 12 or $13. So not like super, super cheap, but you're not breaking the bank either and it ships with this little protector piece. And then uh, these pallets are, let's see if I can get it without everything falling apart. They're removable. So quite cool, <laughs> whether you're into painting or not. Uh, just a really nice little set for 12 or 
and uh, I'll see my what my results are. But so far, I've been really happy with the, uh, the quality of all the merchandise. As for uh, pens, I had stuff lying around, so I didn't really have to spend any money here. Uh, I just got this uh, Pilot Pigment Ink, and this is just a, uh, might be a little hard to get that to zoom in. It's just a felt tip for doing highlights. Here is a Pigma Fine from Sakura. This is another felt tip. This one's in red, probably won't use that that much, but I had it around. And then this is another felt tip. Uh, one thing I don't have, I didn't, I don't have a white gel pen. Uh, the Uniball uh, Signo, Signo Broad uh, white gel pen is a really popular option and that's just for corrections and stuff. I had one and I lost it. Uh, so I'll pick up one of those. And then obviously uh, pretty much everyone has some pencils around. So uh, I'll use those, but uh, yeah. So that is the watercolor starter kit I assembled. See how it goes. Uh, I'm not particularly artistic, but uh, I think it'll be a fun way to spend a few minutes as you're winding down at the end of the night. So thanks for watching.